Hello guys and welcome to your third SDL2 tutorial. In this tutorial we will be going over a simple game event loop. Alright, so first let's get rid of all this other stuff. So let's clear this. First, let's set up our main function. In ARGC, char pointer to ARGV array. Like so. Alright, gotta initialize STL. And now parameters for STL init or SDL init everything. Start writing all the stuff we need. So we're gonna need a SDL window, and we're gonna set that window to SDL create window. And the parameters for this are window type. Upper X corner and then the upper Y corner. So I just do 100 by 100. And now the width of the window and then the height of the window. So I'm doing 640 by 480. And finally, the window parameters. So you can use that the other window. Shoom. Do this full screen. You can use OpenGL. But just use show for now. Alright. And now we get render. So name this render. And go we'll to create render like so. So let's do a create render. We need the window. Then we need flag in the middle. And then finally we need flags what type of render this is. So SDL underscore render. Alright, now we're going to need, yeah, we're going to need our surface, so STL surface, we need this one, S background, and now we're going to set that equal to load image, and background, that PNG, or whatever you name it. Alright, right. so now we need a texture for that image. Let's name that key background. A equals STL. Create texture from surface. And this just takes render and the texture. I mean, and the surface. So now, yeah, we have everything we need. Let's see anything else. Now we need to make our running variable. Do a running equals true. And let's just we want that for now. Alright. So now let's make our while loop. So while running, so basically while game is running. We're going to now check while there is an event. So while SCL underscore full event. Now in parentheses, we're going to do the address of event. Alright, now we need an SDL event object. So SDL underscore event. And then, alright. So basically, an SDL event handles all the events that happen in SDL. So like if there was a key press or something, this event object would tell you what's going on. So we're going to perform different tests on this object to figure out what's going on in the game. Or Alright, so now we need to switch for STL event no. We need to switch for event.10. This will tell us what's going on. 
Alright, now on the switch we have K4 SDL clicked. So if they click the X button, like the X in the window right here, then this would be equal to then event that type would be equal to SDL click. And if they click the X button, then we want to close it. So we'll set running fast and we'll close the game. Alright. This is leave it for a simple X button close for now. Later we can use escape and all the other keys. Alright. Now, let's perform a rendering. SDL render copy. And this just takes render texture and then the destination destination back and the source track but we don't have one so it's just going to defaultly put this in the background so we now we need to render present so we render it to the screen so the user can see it you see the present and just pass the render all right everything's good now we have to do quit and we're done Yep, we're good. Let me just check over. Yep, we're good. Alright. So, build around this. I'll build it on this. Okay, build around. Basically, this just takes the image directory that the person passes into the function, and then they make a surface of that, and they load BMP. So basically, they load the image that is passed into the function, and then they return that to the user. So they return that to the surface right here, in our phone. So I passed in the background, they made it into a um, BMP image and stuff, and then they return the back. Alright. So basically we have a window here with the name, upper left X, upper right X, upper left X, upper Y X, the width, the height, and this is just a window shown. So basically it's just showing the window. It can also be resizable and all this stuff. We have a renderer for graphics and stuff so we can render the images and all that stuff. So basically we create a renderer and have it simulated as the type of renderer. We made a background, and we, now we made a texture for the background image. So now we can now to the screen. We have our, our ability value, which is the entire game. So if this is running, that's the game. game. If it's not, then the game's going to end. Now we have our event loop, which handles all the events and the game, the SDL 2. Now we pull the event, which basically we check for events. If there is any event whatsoever, we're going to run this while loop. If there isn't any event, we're going to run this while Now we check if the W is switch for event that type, so now we check if fit button is pressed, which is a little axle form. Then we want to set the run to false, and then we're going to break the case because you know we always want to break the run. And now finally, every time we run the running loop, the run the background, and then we run the run to screen. Once the game's over, 
we put as the equate and change it. Simple enough. And this is useful for pretty much any game you do. Very cool. And this is just made to the loop. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in STL 2.0, 2.0, 4. Scary appropriation.